bad deal on this I know you try to look at these golden, nasty ass arches in your neighborhood. It's gonna cost you, bitch. I'm Mac Death. I'm selling death to kids, nigga. I got cartoons and all kind of Mac burglars. I got everything to poison your fucking kids. You want me out? Buy me out. I'm McDonald's real estate firm, bitch. <laughs> Yo, so that's the that's the problem with education. Secretly, there's all this shit going on, real estate wise, mm -hmm. and they trying to tell you about algebra. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. So you're never gonna use algebra a day in your life, but they just inundating your brain with needless information. That's that's what school is for. To dummy your ass all the way down. So that when you get to the real world, they they got a fresh sucker yeah. who's good at algebra. That motherfucker, he get an X and a Y, become a Z. <laughs> right. Solve for X. <laughs> Solve for X. For what? Because it's unknown. <laughs> you understand? Me? So you know, you can make that X and Y and a Z, nigga, but you you just can't keep that corporate dick out your ass. <laughs> So this is why the, uh, the, uh, uh, the foundation that we that we putting together and, and uh, getting up and running is gonna be a beautiful thing. Is we gonna teach them life lessons. Yeah, yeah. Real world application lessons. Yes, Just reading that shit blew my mind. I'm like, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Dummy down. Yeah. It's all trillions of dollars. Y'all niggas got trillions in assets over here trying to make a hundred thousand. What the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they said in assets, tangible assets. Yeah. See, and that's why Bitcoin's going to win, because Bitcoin has been recognized as an asset. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a digital asset. Yeah. And I, Which makes more sense of why NFT is winning so much, because now they've took this digital asset and put it into something Tangible. Yeah. Tangible. Art. Art. And viewable, you know. Yes. To be like, my graphic here is worth a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So if I go broke, I can sell this graphic. Yeah. And get my yes. Yeah. hundred thousand or more back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like you said, the late investors, which are the bankers, mm -hmm. don't understand that. Mm -hmm. so they like, wait, wait, they could, we could. Well, been. this is why music is digital. And this is why music is, is going to be the next one that blows up. Oh, yeah. Music is digital. And once you get that, What's the word you said? Uh, what? Tangible? No. NFC? Yeah, you said you had to spend 150 to get it. What, 150,000? Oh, mint it. Yeah. Oh, mint it. Yeah. Once the music so once, is... once the music is minted, mm -hmm. this is why all these old school motherfuckers demanding their masters back. And I think they should do a class action lawsuit against every motherfucking record label to get all y'all music back. Cause like Dave Chappelle, it, uh, nobody, you wasn't an attorney. And they were all working together, the manager, the agent, and the regulator to fuck you out of your masters. <clears throat> Cause now once those masters are collected and they are digitized. Yeah, it's game over. It's, it's a tangible digital asset. Yeah, cause once, if the record label mints your song, yeah and you buy the rights to his song, mm -hmm. you could sell bits and pieces of his music mm -hmm. and get, you know. In like perpetuity. Yeah. yeah. Perpetuity. perpetuity. You, you don't even know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you doing with the, the MMT bar right now. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a man. Yep. So yeah, I, I, I don't know who's listening, but uh, yeah, all you uh, music musicians, uh, y'all should, uh, Jump on Jewish Clinton's lawsuit, and uh, I mean all of y'all. Just pull your resources. Shit, y'all can shut music down and just uh, sue every last one of these record labels. Break them. Yeah. Break them. Break them. Fuck them. They obsolete any goddamn way. Break them. What are you saying? The last video? They run game. They run game. They run game. <laughs> That shit is so true. Damn, man. 
because why would they want the most valuable asset out of an artist? The masters. the masters. And the master came out of who? The, the master artist. musician. Yeah. So how the fuck a suit that ain't had shit to do with this shit? Yeah. Sit behind the desk on the phone typewriting and shit. How, how the fuck you on the master? Oh, you put some money up for the recording. And? And it shall be returned with interest. Now, what the fuck else you want? Publish. Yeah, you can get mine. <laughs> <laughs> you can publish these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> That's how they do them with the 360 deals and all that shit. Because that's why they call it that. All that shit circles right back to the fucking record labels. Dude, this is like. It's crazy because you could digitize. So an artist could digitize its music as an NFC before a record label does, and they can't even do nothing about it. Yeah. Yep. That's the way to go. Mm -hmm. Because like I seen an NFT yesterday, my homie sent it. Um, he was like, "Look at these!" And he, they were uh, they were the sneakers. They were all the latest. Like, like look, it's like. The Yeezys, the Jordans, like mm -hmm. someone made like a You need to put some bubbles and pitch it behind it. Yeah. And that's an NFT. Yeah. So we gotta get molds. I mean that courage in the bottom. Yeah. I can see 50 Cent gonna love that. Right. Cause he's doing a come yet. Or E40's gonna love that. Oh yeah. Cause E40's got a come yet. And that's the brandy that bottle that the genie's coming out of. And every nigga that get drunk think they swole with lokes, nigga, and end up getting their ass whooped at the end of the night. That's why it's called a bottle of courage. Right. It's, it's a joke, nigga, because yeah. nigga, that anybody got that in the office, nigga, that's a piece, nigga. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. That is and crazy. not to mention that the art is damn stellar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is. Yeah, because motherfuckers get courage, nigga, once they got liquor in them. Yeah. Trust strong. me, I, I'm one of them. <laughs> I get some liquor, nigga, I can beat up a room full of motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have done it, too, at the House of Blues. Yeah, I'm going to say, you have done it, you mean. Ran through security, nigga, broke two of them's legs, nigga, threw a lazy boy cheer 10 feet across the room, the room stop, nigga. I don't know, I got freak strength when I'm, I'm, I'm on one. Yep, don't believe me, ask George Lopez, DL them. I lifted up a 400 pound bitch and bounced her in my arms. And we was taking pictures on the comedy get down to it. Yeah, and the late great Charlie Murphy said, yeah, put that big bitch down. <laughs> Cause if you drop her, nigga, we all gonna get sued. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you just don't know your strength when you got the juices. So. Trying to move a pool full of water. Yeah. We're gonna march down to the Capitol, and I'm gonna march with you. That motherfucker went and got the call. <laughs> this nigga is banned off the internet. You know he down in the bunker in the White House. No! I can't communicate with my minions. Ah, I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting. Be sure to like and subscribe and go to egfunnymoney.com so you can get murked like this. Think it ain't illegal yet, but goddamn, they work on us a whole lot of stupid motherfuckers. But you can't be stupid if you rock egfunnymoney.com. That's all I'm saying.